When it comes to ingredients such as hydroquinone, we dermatologists hear a lot of myths and misconceptions about its features and its uses. So let's clear this up. Myth or truth, hydroquinone is mainly used to lighten the skin overall. Prescription strength hydroquinone is primarily used under the watchful eye of a dermatologist as a gold standard for the treatment of pigmentary disorders such as melasma, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, sunspots, and even age spots. Which is true? Is hydroquinone a natural or chemical substance? Hydroquinone is an aromatic organic compound that naturally occurs in many common foods and drinks such as cranberries, blueberries, pears, beans, all wheat breads and cereals, tea, coffee, red wine, beer, broccoli, and even onions. It appears in the human body through dietary consumption, even those with restrictive diets. When used in higher concentrations in the manufacture of pharmaceuticals or in industrial practices, it is manufactured by chemical synthesis. Myth or truth, hydroquinone has not been banned in the U.S. Currently, the topical products of hydroquinone are available in the United States in over-the-counter and prescription strengths. Studies have been conducted on hydroquinone. However, in 2006, the FDA found that further studies were needed, but currently in the interim, they are available to the consumer. Myth or truth, not all hydroquinone is the same. Hydroquinone comes in a range of strengths. Concentrations of 2% or less are available over the counter, while concentrations of greater than 2% are by prescription only. In some instances, dermatologists may actually prescribe greater than 4% formulations, generally using a compounding pharmacy. The fact is, dermatologists have prescribed hydroquinone to treat hyperpigmentation issues for more than 50 years. Ask your dermatologist what's best for you.